guys, Gaz Burrows here, burrowspt.com. 10 fitness myths I'm gonna bust right now. Carbs don't make you fat. If you cut out carbohydrates from your diet, you're cutting out one of the macronutrients, which will put you in a caloric deficit. That's why you would lose weight, because of the caloric deficit that cutting carbohydrates does to your diet. Unless you have a medical condition, there is no reason to cut out carbs from your diet, and you can lose weight with having carbs in your diet perfectly fine. Let's step out of the 80s, guys, and refer to number one. Your weight can fluctuate on a daily basis. You could be 90 kilos at the start of the week, 92 middle of the week, 89 at the end of the week. Pick a day, weigh yourself consistently each week on that day and take it from there. That is if you want to use the scales and weight as progress. If not, go off strength, go off how you feel, go off performance. Don't get obsessed with the number on the scale because it doesn't necessarily reflect progress. More cardio isn't necessarily better for fat loss. Being in a caloric deficit is better for fat loss. How you go about that is entirely up to you, but building muscle mass with a weight training resistance program will enable you to lose fat and keep it off long term. With regards to fat loss, what is important is your energy balance over a 24 or seven day period. If you're on 2000 calories a day, for example, it doesn't matter if you have five meals at 400 calories each, or if you have one huge meal in the evening at 2000 calories. Go off how you feel, go off how you perform, go off energy levels. Yeah, eating little and often might be able to sustain your energy throughout the day, but in terms of fat loss, it doesn't matter. Complete rubbish. I've built all the muscle I have now without eating meat. There are strong men, bodybuilders, powerlifters, athletes around the world who are vegan and don't need meat to enhance their performance, their speed, their strength, their stamina, and build muscle. So there's plenty of protein in all kinds of plant-based foods. What's important is that you get a variety, you hit your essential amino acids, and you ensure that you're in consistent with your eating habits and training program like anyone else. You simply can't. Your body will burn fat as and when and where it wants. If you want to get rid of stomach fat, for example, doing endless amount of crunches will not aid you in burning fat in that area. If you are training, make sure you are doing large compound movements to elicit a greater fat burning response just because you're gonna be expending more calories doing larger movements like deadlifts and squats. But being in a caloric deficit will burn fat across your body as a whole. Where it burns fat, is unique to you and you cannot target specific areas. You can build muscle in that area, but you can't reduce body fat by targeting specific areas of your body. It doesn't matter. If you can get home after workout and have some real food, then that's cool. If you, like me, tend to be pretty busy and go for a post-workout shake, that is also cool. Don't worry about getting it in immediately after a workout. It doesn't matter, you're not gonna lose all your gains. Take a source of protein as soon as you can after the gym, just to replenish the body, replenish energy stores, and to begin the repair process. Again, it's a load of rubbish. You wanna look at caloric balance over a 24 hour period. Your body isn't in metabolic fat burning zone throughout the day and then after 6 p.m. it's like, no, nope, any food that you have now is going straight on my ass, straight on my hips, straight on my stomach. It doesn't work like that. You could eat at 9, 10, 11, whenever, during the evening, and it won't affect your goal. What does matter is that you are working towards your goals over a 24 hour period in terms of calories. Now, a lot of females say this. Again, it is not true. For a female to lift weights to the point where she turns into a bodybuilder, they have to take it very, very seriously, for starters, training, hours and hours each week, ensuring your protein and nutrition is on point consistently and you have to lift 
really heavy. They'd have to get really heavy with the weights to build muscle mass. If you're doing three, four weight sessions per week, you're not gonna get bulky. Most females want the toned appearance and you will do that by lifting weights three to four times per week, not worrying about getting big and bulky, creating that unnecessary anxiety going forward. So that's it guys, 10 fitness myths busted. Take it easy.